Okay. Huh? It's kind of a starter bass, but it's a bass. I heard somebody describe it once, fly fishing is something to do while you're fishing. Like fly casting is something to do while you're fishing. Meet Randy Richter of Cedar Rapids. He got hooked early on fly fishing. I was 12, I got my first job walking beans. I don't know if you know what that is, but you're from Iowa, so you probably do. And I took that paycheck and I bought my first fly rod and reel when I was 12. That's better. And, and once I learned I could catch anything with the fly rod, I mean, pike and muskies and tarpon and sharks and all the ocean fish, like, I was all in. Did he say sharks? Yes, he said sharks. Two years ago in April, I caught a 300 pound eight foot tiger shark in a fly rod. It was just like, I remember the date, which is really kind of sad because sometimes I forget anniversaries and birthdays. Like I was like, oh, April 6th, that's the day I caught the tiger shark. So it's super special. That is his largest fly rod catch to date. He keeps a comprehensive list of the different types of fish he has hauled in. And I have a spreadsheet with them on there. So I'm like at, 317 right now. Different species of fish. Different species of fish. Randy's a realtor, but his business card could well read, have fly rod, will travel. Let's say, oh, I want to go catch a peacock bass. Well, that means I've got to go to the Amazon jungle. And you've done that. You've gone to the Six Amazon. times. Yeah, six I've been times. to the Amazon jungle six times. I've been to Bolivia, Costa Rica, the Bahamas, <laughs> Australia. I've, I'm going to Mexico in November okay. to try to catch a marlin on a fly rod. I've never succeeded at that yet. That's on the bucket was, list. But on this summer night in eastern Iowa, bass, the old largemouth bass is providing plenty of entertainment. So, not a 300 pound tiger shark, <laughs> but I'll take it. This is John Campbell reporting from the great outdoors.